Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So on this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do voiceovers using a built-in voiceover tool within Shotcut. Now on previous versions of Shotcut, this wasn't available. So you would have to have a workaround method. So basically before you would have to go to open other, and then you would have to choose your audio video device. And then you would have to export that as a MP3 file. So it was really not the best way to do it. But now Shotcut has provided this feature. So something that's really important is you're going to have to have at least version 22.03.30 at the time of this video. So in this case, I have that version right here, 22.03.30. And if you have the older version, you won't have this option. So if you look here on your project timeline, you'll see a feature called record audio. Now, if you are on a older version of Shotcut, you will not see that option here. So on this older version, this is 21.06.29. This does not have the voiceover or record audio feature. So once you have that, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is click on record audio, no matter what track you're on, whenever you want to do it. So let's go ahead and record some audio. So I'm testing this voiceover recording for Shotcut. And so once you're done, it goes ahead and creates the audio track. As you saw there, it added audio track and there's the voiceover. And so if I actually play this back, so as you heard, that is the voiceover just recorded. And this track doesn't have any audio, but this one does have audio bits in. So if I play this back, obviously it's going to play both audio tracks at the same time. But this is really a great feature to have. This is something I was hoping Shotcut would provide, and now they have. Now there is one thing I want to note. You can choose the microphone that you want to use. So basically, if you had more than one. So in this case, my options might look a little different from yours. But typically, if you go up here to File and then go to Open Other, what you'll notice is this section called Device. Now, typically, most people will have an option called Audio slash Video, which will allow you to choose the microphone that you want to use. But in this case, I'm using Post Audio for all my various audio devices. So if I go to Post Audio, this is where I have all my settings for my various audio devices. As you can see here, here's my microphone. There's also a webcam as well. So all of that is controlled through post audio for me. But for most people, they're going to see audio slash video. And there you could choose the microphone input device you want to use whenever you are creating voiceovers. So that is it on how you could create voiceovers directly within Shotcut. This is really a wonderful feature, super easy to use. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be happy with this. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave in a comment area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.